Good evening, friends. It's Miss Patty at Samuel's Public Library here to do uh, Good Night, Sweetheart story time at the end of the day. Um, as you get ready for bed, I've got my jammies on and we've got Lammy who's ready for snuggles and um, to listen to a story too. And as always, I hope you've had a wonderful, wonderful day. Maybe you've been collecting pretty leaves. We have some amazing colors out there that are changing and um, maybe you have some favorites, the bright red or the orange, and you know you can save them and put them on paper and glue them and just make special treasures. And maybe somebody will soon, as they keep falling, have you jump in a pile, gather them all up so you can jump in a pile of leaves. So, all very fun. So I have a story that maybe you've heard before and um, because Maybe you've read Llama Llama Red Pajama, which is such a favorite. And with my grandchildren and maybe one of yours. And this is another one about Nellie New and Daddy Too by Anna Dudney. I like her stories. So, here we go. Cuddle up. That looks like fun. Somebody's been coloring. Nellie knew and Daddy too. Nellie loves her Daddy knew. It looks like Mama and Baby Brother are going out shopping. Bye bye. He always knows just what to do. A great big box, some tape and string. Daddy can make anything. Boxes are so much fun to play with, aren't they? First they measure, then they draw. Nellie tapes and Daddy saws. Wow, I wonder what they're going to make. Something fun. And then they add a little glue, Nellie and her daddy knew. Something's coming together. A perfect little house for one. But Nellie thinks it's not quite done. It needs some flowers, just a few. Time to shop with Daddy New. Wow. A big adventure to the store. Plants and hammers, ladders, more. Would she like a better view? Take a ride on Daddy New. More colors than she's ever seen. Purple, yellow, pink, and green. Wow, what color would you pick? I like green. Nellie finds the perfect blue. There she goes. Daddy gets some brushes too. Is this a fun project? Yeah. Out with Daddy. Hip hooray. It's a super duper day for Nellie and her Daddy New. How fun. Uh-oh. What is that? Did something drop? Yeah. 
Daddy? Where are you? Oops. Did Nellie can't see her daddy? Just for a minute. Swooping, zooming way up high, Daddy holds her and she flies. Guess who loves his Nellie? Who? Yes, it's Daddy. Daddy knew. Yeah, isn't that fun? Time for checkout at the store. Daddy adds just one more thing. Ah, does that look like a special drink or something? Hmm. A special day for just these two, Nellie and her daddy knew. It is nice to have special time. Paint the house with brick designs, big bright flowers, climbing vines, there's nothing that these two can't do, Nellie and her daddy knew. They're doing a wonderful job, aren't they? Time for dinner, daddy cooks. Then they read their favorite books. Every night and every day, daddy makes it all okay. He always knows just what to do. Ah, Nellie's daddy, daddy knew. You see Nellie with a flashlight? Isn't that fun? Flashlights are cool. Good night, Nellie. What a fun day. The end. It's very fun to do things with boxes, right? There's so much you can do. Yes. I have another sleepy story for you. And maybe you've seen this one too. This is very pretty. Time to Sleep My Love by Nancy Tillman. And the pictures in here are just so pretty. We'll see how other creatures go to sleep. It's time to sleep, my love. It's time to sleep. It's time to sleep. The fishes croon in waters deep. Yeah. Down deep. And there's Mr. Pelican under the moon. The songbirds sing in trees above. It's time to sleep, my love, my love. Can you see the songbirds right there? And Mr. Giraffe looking for a place to maybe have a midnight snack before closing his eyes. It's time to sleep, my love. Ah, snuggling with a special panda. Maybe you have a special stuffed panda to sleep with, huh? So go to sleep, my sleepy child. The tiger whispers in the wild. Tigers are so beautiful, huh? I think they're lazy and sleepy in the day and sometimes go walking at night, maybe. The otter utters by the lake. It's getting hard to stay awake. So, our otter friends like to be playful at night. That's why we don't see them very often. 
So go to sleep, my love. What do we see here? Does this look like our blue heron that we see at our river? Yeah. And we don't have moose that I know of. They live farther north in Maine and Vermont and Canada and out west. Isn't that a fun tree house? Somebody did a really good job and put lights in there. Let's go to sleep, my darling love. So Coos, the sleepy turtle dove. So drones, the drowsy bumblebee, inside its hive, inside its tree, sleep. Let's go to sleep, my love. I know we have a lot of deer that sleep under our magnolia tree. And I'm getting very sleepy now. So moves the tired milking cow. with her very new calf. So croaks the almost sleeping frog amidst the death settling of the fog. I'm getting very sleepy now. Yeah. It's a foggy night on the river. So go to sleep, my love. Doesn't that look dreamy? Your dreams will be arriving soon. They'll float you in sleep's balloon and carry you off as you drift off to sleep. As you dream inside your sleep, the fishes crooning in the deep and all the songbirds up above will sleep and dream of you, my love, of you, the one I love. It says you are love. The end. What a sweet story to get sleepy by. So I hope you have a wonderful night and have sweet dreams and are ready to tackle the day tomorrow with all kinds of wonderful new memories to make tomorrow. So, and maybe, just maybe this week, you'll be able to come to the library I have craft kits to share with you. I've been making things for you to be able to be creative and use your glue stick. So, good night.